because of our time. The I gathering know. attended by the police, civil defense, and other sister security agencies in Ogun State is tagged electoral transparency, panacea to a secure and developed nation, which is part of the discourse towards ensuring peaceful elections. The gathering is to bring stakeholders on the same page to mitigate bribery, corruption, as well as ensure transparency and maximum security in the conduct of the general elections. Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to the seminars organized across all formations of the court, especially to mitigate against bribery, corruption, and other related parties before, during, and after the election in which independent corrupt parties Another related offenses commission, ICPC, will bring to the fore the rudiments and the preparation for the actualization of the coming elections. The August State Resident Electoral Commissioner, Ni Ijalaye, identified some of the factors which compromise the electoral process. The continued education of voters and other political stakeholders remain a preventative imperative to secure elections by helping to reinforce positive democratic practices and curbing divine democratic behaviors. The improvement of security institutional framework, the EMB should work out a clear mandate for each category of security agencies. Speaking on behalf of the police, a deputy commissioner, Abiodun Alamotu, promised professionalism and warned security personnel against acts that jeopardize the elections. My admonishment to us is to remain professional and not allow anybody of group of persons to spur us into doing things that are or oh, oh, that will damage our identity. We all have a name to protect. It is better we conduct ourselves in the right and proper way so that we will be sure or oh, at the end of the day there will not be any reason for anybody to complain against the system. The crux of this event is that all hands must then be on deck to ensure a successful conduct of the 2023 polls. Meanwhile, in Imo State, the Commissioner of Police, Mohamed Bade, has assured the residents of the command's readiness to see that the election is peaceful, as all measures have been put in place for adequate safety of lives and property. In an interview with our Imo State correspondent at the command's headquarters in Owiri, the state capital, CP Bade urges indigents to dispel rumors making the round that the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra will not allow the people in the southeast to participate in the polls. He says the electorates have nothing to worry about and encourage them to come out and exercise their franchise. Over some times now, we have been hearing rumors from uh, some people that call themselves IPOP, so the ESN, that they will not allow election to take place in the whole of the Southeast. 
But we all know that the southeast is part of Nigeria. So I don't think that there's any Jupiter on this earth that will prevent election in the southeast. Particularly the Imo, in Imo state. So in preparing for the forthcoming election, uh, we have been sensitizing our policemen at the command level, at the area command level, at all the divisions. And I remember recently we had a remote election uh -huh, in various places, and it went well. So I think it will not be different from the general election. In Niger State, political party leaders and contestants have signed a peace accord towards ensuring a free, fair and credible 2023 general elections in Amina, the Niger State capital. In his keynote address, the Commissioner of Police, Ugundele Ayodeji, noted that the police and other security agencies are usually tasked with the responsibility of having a peaceful pulse where it cannot be achieved without collaboration and synergy of other relevant political stakeholders. The move to ensure a peaceful electioneering process is still ongoing in Niger State, as all political parties commit to sign a peace accord at the police officers' mess in Mina, the state capital. The political parties and contestants who were present are NRM, PDP, SDP, NNPP, Accord, ADC, ADP, LP, AA, ZLP, and only the APC ruling party in the state was absent, as the agreement is signed under the supervision of the